Hi guys. Give me just a minute. Hey everybody. Hi. It is um, Monday. Oh, let me just pull my, hang on, I want to change this here for a second. Whoops. Need my cord. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're, okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Had to plug in. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. So happy Monday. So it is um, the 10th today. So we are going to be talking about focus today. We're going to be talking about focus and um, the importance of focus. And we're going to talk about, um, you know, kind of how we can uh, incorporate that better in our lives. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And um, we're getting interruptions. We got we're, we're having broadcast interruptions. We yeah. are, huh? Mm -hmm. You're froze right now. I am? Yeah. Oh boy, Let's see why. It's been like a lot lately. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's really going. See it? Yeah. See it? And yeah. It'll... Okay. Well, let's just go with it. If I really, you guys, let me know if you're having problems. Um, um, you know, uh, having a connection. If I freeze, you know, let me know. Okay. Or if I freeze too long, better yet. Okay, so um, anyway, we are um, going to be giving away a reading tonight, so someone's going to be getting a uh, private reading with me tonight. Um, well, you're not going to get a reading tonight. You're going to win a reading tonight. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've already done all my readings today. <laughs> so um, I love um, Mondays. I love, I look forward to um, hanging out with you guys on Mondays and talking about things. And so um, if you guys have questions for me, let me know. And G is here. Hi guys. <laughs> Let's do it. I think they already know the the, 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 <laughs> the drill. drill. <laughs> yeah, but for those of you that may be first time on, let us know where and where you're called. Well, here we go with the calling again. Where you're checking in from? And it looks like some people are already checking in. So I uh, love that. Thanks for checking in, guys. Thanks for being here, and uh, thanks for wanting to share this time together with G and I and talking about fun things. And also, you know, it'd be awesome if you guys have a specific topic you would like to. Um, you know, talk about on these Monday nights, you know, um, somebody asked me last week, um, they, they had said, you know, am I going to be doing readings on this, um, you know, uh, Facebook Live on these Letters from Spirit? Because I know some people do, you know, live mediumship readings on Facebook Live, and I don't really do that. And uh, why I don't, uh, so what, what these sessions really are about is just to kind of help us in life, right? Um, mediumship readings are amazing, and they create wonderful healing and uh, wonderful closure and um, really lifts the spirits of so many of my clients and I love doing them but there's also a part of us too that have to get through the day-to-day -day stuff in life and you know and sometimes we're faced with challenges in life or we're struggling a little bit in life and you know getting the mojo going or you know get the gas in our tanks and and um, you know kind of putting our feet forward in a way that's you know, uh, good for us. And so these nights, these Monday nights are really about that. So it's really about all of us getting together and just spending time together this way. So um, anyway, so that's what uh, these Monday nights are about. So um, so that's why I won't be doing any mediumship readings on this night, because it's about talking through stuff and, um, and certain topics that we can help one another with. So Gia? Yeah, I'm going to do a little, yeah. little check-in <laughs> time here. Perfect. And then, um, but you know, also, you're not doing mediumship readings, but you will be answering some questions yeah. regarding medium coming up here shortly after we do a little check. -in. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. I totally want to do some uh, questions. I love answering questions for you guys. So um, mediumship related or whatever, but, um, you know, obviously I'm just, I love the topic. So yes, um, post okay. questions. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's just do a yeah. shout out this week. Perfect. Okay, um, good. Brianna is on. Hi, Brianna. <laughs> Paula is on. Hi, Paula. Christine is on. Hi, Christine. Be Hi, Christine. Becky is on. Hey, Becky. Cat is on. Hi, Cat. Evie. Cat's a powerful name. Cat. Yeah, I, like I know. That. Yeah. Um, Evie. Evie's hey, Evie. On. Uh, Linda in Phoenix. If you guys hey, tell Linda. me where you're from, I'll, I'll I'll say it. If not, not a problem. I'll just at least give you a shout out. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to say that's where you fine. are, that's fine. But... Um, Amy. Uh, Amy says hello. Hi, Amy. Annie. Hi, Annie. Shauna. Hi, Shauna. And then Maria from Las Cruces. 
New Mexico. Area. We now know it's New Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've gotten this That right only now. took a few weeks, though, oh, by the I way, to get now. that clear. Yep. You know? Takes a couple minutes for us. <laughs> yep. Uh, Lori is on. Hey, Lori. Hi, Lori. Paula is on. Hi, Paula. And let's see. Lana from Nevada. Oh, hey, Lana. And let me keep on going here. What part of Nevada are you from? Sure, let us know, I bet. Yeah. Uh, Lucy is on. Hi, Lucy. Paula from Houston. Paula from Houston. Hey, Paula. And of course, Kat's from Camarillo. Hey, Kat. Yeah. And Camarillo. Brianna's from Thousand Oaks. Hi, Brianna. And Chris, Chris is on. Good. Hey, Chris. Um, Lori from New Jersey. Yep. Hey, New hey, Lori. Okay, Kat has a suggestion for the question you asked about a topic. Okay. She says a topic a topic she'd love to hear would be letting go of regret or just regret, I suppose. Regret. Okay, perfect. Letting go of regret or a topic on regret. Okay, I'll ask Edgar. Perfect. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah. That was fun because, you know, sometimes, as you know, I, they just kind of say what they want to say, and sometimes I like to direct them a little bit uh, on a topic. So, so it's cool. Gives yep. me some ideas. Good. That you guys would be into. Perfect. Uh, Debbie, Thank you. Debbie from Oklahoma. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Shauna su suggested for a topic self love. Oh, okay, good. Self love. Who who suggested that? Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Thank you. Okay, self love. Uh, will you make a note of that, Gia? Like self love yeah, let me, and let me write that. self love and, and regret. regret. Yeah. Okay. Post that and I can. I'm gonna put their names. Yeah. Down perfect. Too, and cat. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Good. Yeah. Um, that's regret. <laughs> she keeps me organized, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Melissa, Melissa said she was running late. She didn't, she Hi, didn't Melissa. miss anything. She just wanted to make sure she didn't miss anything. Yeah, we're no, just we're, just, in. we're just getting started. We're going to be talking about focus today. Um, this one may have actually run a little bit into what you're talking mm -hmm. about today, but Lana yeah. says, how can we stay positive? So that may oh, have something okay. to do. I've heard your letter yet. Sure. But... Um, yep. Stay positive. Okay. Yep. And let's see, uh, Terry. By positive, positive thoughts, positive emotions. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Um, Terry's said she's stopping Hi, by to say hello. Oh, hey, Terry. Thanks for stopping by. And we've got Kim from Georgia. Hi, Kim. Melissa's from Kentucky. Melissa from Kentucky. Lindsay okay. is here. Hey, Lindsay. Uh, Lana's from Sparks, Nevada. Sparks, Nevada. Okay. And Sparks, Nevada. Becky is from Georgia as well. She was oh. telling Kim she's from Georgia as well. Oh. So I'm just <laughs> reading in on their comments to each other. Uh, Kat says her real name Two is Kathleen. Two beautiful peaches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kat says her real name is Kathleen. Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Chris, Pretty too. Yeah. Chris is uh, Oklahoma. Okay. Hey, Chris. Uh, we've got Lisa. Good. Hi, Lisa. Maria. Hi, Maria. And Lucy is from St. Augustine. St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah. Uh, Maria said she's so excited that her son <laughs> has a reading with you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Good. Your son has a reading with me. Wonderful. And we've got, Good. Looking I, forward I, I to hope that. I'm pronouncing this right. Richeka, Richeka from Texas. Richeka. Richeka. From Texas. Let us know if that's right or not. Yes. You can correct me. Yeah. Uh, Julie from Riverside. Hi, Julie. And thanks, Brianna. She says we love Gia. Thanks, Brianna. Oh. <laughs> Very sweet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Cassie. I love her too. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Cassie is here. Simi Valley. Hey, Cassie. Karina from Virginia. Who from Virginia? Karina. Karina. Charlotte Good. from Ohio. Good. Hi, Charlotte. Joe Turlings. You might know oh, him. <laughs> Joe Turlings. I'm, I'm thinking he might be in San Clemente. I think I know you. Yeah, he's on. Uh, Patty from Las Vegas. And Patty from Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, another Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay, another Nevada. Perfect. Evie has a suggestion yeah. for a topic. I, hey, this Evie. is a good one, too. Mm -hmm. A suggestion for a topic on interpretation of dreams. Oh, okay. I love that one. Okay, interpretation of dreams. I like it. Let's see what they say about dreams. Okay. Perfect. Hold on, I'm trying to read and write. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. So, we've got Lucinda from Maryland. Maryland. Lucinda. Nice. Lucinda. Lucinda, nice. Thanks for joining. So I know you're going to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more. Cheryl yeah. from Nashville area. Hi, Cheryl from Nashville. I was just on the phone today with my girlfriend in Tennessee. Yeah, I said it was really warm there today. Is that so? I bet it is. <laughs> yeah. 
So I know that you're going to take mediumship questions. So yes. guys, now would be the time because I know there's a little lag. Yeah. If you have a specific question for Monica, but in Please. the meantime, mm -hmm. you'd mentioned to me when I got here that obviously we can't get yeah. to all the questions every right. week. So you yeah. had some from last week. You yeah. Wanted to answer. So like, you know, we try to answer questions that you guys put in the comments, right? Because this is a you know great time to kind of, you know, connect and, you know, answer questions and stuff. And so we try to hit a lot of the comments, um, the questions in the comments. But if we miss some, I go back. And I read through, and then I make a list of a few more, and then I uh, will come on and uh, talk about those. So I have a couple from last week. Um, if you guys posted a question last week and I didn't answer, um, know um, that I'm going to try and answer those today. So I'll start with that. But while I'm doing that, why don't you guys post any questions you might have for me in regards to um, something um, mediumship related or medium or intuitive related or... Something, whatever, whatever your question is. It doesn't have to be that. Okay, so, but um, there was a couple questions that somebody asked me last week, and Chris asked one. So uh, Chris last week asked, a few weeks ago after my husband passed, one night at the end of my bed was a glowing blue light. It only lasted a few seconds. What does that mean? So um, really awesome, Chris. So first of all, yes, it's spirit. And um, it is most likely your husband. And I say this because when my kid's father passed away, uh, two days after he passed, a blue bobbing light showed up in my room. And it was bobbing through the room like this. It was making movement. And I was up at night awake, like, you know, thinking about all that was laying in front of me and what I had to deal with with two grieving kids. And I was watching this blue bobbing light that was bobbing at like one in the morning. And I had a instinct to speak to it. And as I spoke to it, somebody placed a hand on my hand as I was laying in bed. So, and I felt it was my kid's dad. And he placed his hand on my hand. And what was interesting about it was the hand was very, um, the feeling of the hand was very uh, thin and frail. Not that the person is thin and frail, but it was an indicator to me to confirm it was him um, because of how I used to hold his hand um, when he wasn't well. And, you know, so um, definitely, yes. So I believe, in my personal opinion, from having experience, a blue bobbing light it was a bright blue electric blue bobbing around in my room was my love was a loved one it was my kid's dad and i believe that that probably was your husband so um that's my interpretation that's my belief that has been my experience of blue lights in the room so question for yeah. you on that so i hope that answers your question because Chris. we we get these questions every week so yeah. And that's good. You explained it. It mm -hmm. would probably be a good idea for Chris or anybody else that's had those experience to maybe try to engage a little bit. If something like that yeah. happens, you should try to yeah. talk. Like if that happens. Said, like yeah. I did, I felt in, I felt like I needed to speak to the light and I did. I spoke to the light and as I finished my question and the speaking, the hand came onto my hand and it embraced me. So um, speak to it if it happens again. Okay, so hope that helps. So another question I got asked yesterday, I mean last week, sorry. Um, uh, from Kat Marie, she asked, do you ever get people's loved ones who are watching your live trying to communicate messages for us during the Facebook Live? So um, here's the thing. So um, that's a two that's a two part answer because when we're all engaging and we're speaking of mediumship and we're speaking about energy and we're talking about things the guides you know energy and um, love um, I believe your loved ones gather yes um, also understand that you know I kind of have intentions that I set with the spirit world when I work so when I work to do mediumship I. Uh, set an intent and I draw them near and ask them to come in. Um, when I'm doing my Facebook Lives, I am not doing that because, again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm focused on our here and now and helping us in our life here, um, not so much about connecting with the other side. But uh, So, no, I don't get 
I don't typically will get loved ones coming in wanting to communicate because I kind of set that parameter of what tonight is about. But I know that they come in and they support you and they're listening and they're watching the comments and all that kind of stuff. Do I think that a thousand percent? So I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. We got a. You got. Some, hope I, I answered your question, darling. We got a few questions here yeah. for you. Okay. Okay. Um, Anne says, I read and read about psychic stuff. Yeah. How can we learn more about signs and symbols? Signs and symbols is something that you need to pay attention to. So when you get signs and you get symbols, there is, um, there should be probably, um, I call them calling cards actually. So when you get a reoccurring symbol or a reoccurring sign, that's for you to pay attention to because it keeps reoccurring. So what I want to say to you is when you receive that, what feeling do you get about that? Who are you thinking about when you receive that? So when it keeps reoccurring or it keeps rehappening, what are you feeling when you see it? Who are you thinking about when you see it? Does that make sense? Because spirit world will give us what's called calling cards and they give you these, um, these specific symbols, calling cards, that allow you to know that they're near you. Right. My guides did it with me when I was starting, um, you know, in meditation, actually, um, I would get calling cards and I talk about these calling cards when I teach meditation. Um, and I'm probably going to teach about it also in my spirit guide workshop about calling cards, um, because I think they are important because it is a beginning of communication uh, is when you get these calling cards. And it is um, the other side wanting to communicate with you and calling cards and symbols is a way to really do that. But it's like a language you have to understand. So when they keep giving it to you go off how you feel, go off who, what you're thinking about, because that in itself is giving you the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Generally you'll Does think about, I mean, yeah. you'll get a sign or something mm -hmm. will happen yeah. and, and you'll think about a loved one right mm -hmm. away. It's who mm -hmm. comes into your head first mm -hmm. and it's like, Oh, there it is. That's right. Yeah. And that's why I would say like your loved one isn't the bird. It's not the butterfly, right. but they give you something to get you to think about them or to give you something that will respond within mm -hmm. you something. And that is your message. And, you know, and this is kind of a follow up to what you're speaking of right now. Charlotte mm -hmm. says, why can't I feel my lost loved one or, you know, that's passed on. And you get that question a lot, too. And, and they're always there. But it kind of falls up what you just said. You got to pay attention. It, you got to pay yeah. attention because they're there. I promise you that. I promise you the signs are there. I promise you the symbols are there. I promise you communication is there. Um, it's just, are you quiet? Are you listening are you paying attention and when you receive something do you blow it off as not important or do you pay attention to that and then when you receive something similar like that again do you pay attention and then do you start seeing it as a repetitive thing that happens which is then becomes a calling card right yeah so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and, and Anna and just to follow up what you were talking yeah. about with the uh, spirit at the end of your bed she says <laughs> she's been feeling someone sit on her bed she says, when I'm sleeping three times recently, she says, I don't feel bad. I just don't know who it is. Same thing when my bathroom light turns off, which, like you said, she probably needs to ask. <laughs> yeah, right? Ask. If they keep coming back. You know, I mean, if they're showing up, you know, you might want to, you know. No, I understand that like, sometimes when, like, when they come and they sit next to you and you feel it. So I don't know the degree or the strength. I remember sitting on a couch and the whole cushion moved and they were right at my face. You know, and it was a little jarring for me because I hadn't really uh, understood all that was happening. So, you know, I was like, oh, my gosh, someone just sat next to me and the whole cushion moved on and my face kind of went with the cushion. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I can understand that. But, I mean, if you don't, you have to ask. So just in your mind, who is this? Who's here? What do you want to say? Yeah, just ask. Talk. I think if they've been there three times or more, yeah, they're, they definitely are trying to communicate. So it's yeah. probably one of And if she yeah. feel, feels fine with it, then it's probably yeah. somebody that, you know. Yeah, if you feel fine with yeah. it, then just go, who are you? Let me know. Let me know who's visiting me. You know, just and then who's here us, wanting to talk with let me? Let us know next and week. And what do you have to say? Yeah, I want to hear about this next yeah, week. Yeah, if it happens, if it happens again, happens, I want to sure. see what happens. So, you know, be willing, if you're comfortable, to just telepathically in your mind to say, who is this? You know, I told you like when, when my guides came in, when they were coming in super, super, super strong, it was like kind of freaking me out. Right. Cause it was so powerful and it was like really up, like it was, it was like just crazy. And, but one time I just kind of said, mm. and in my mind, I'm like, who is this? Who is this? And then boom, there was that download. Mm -hmm. I'm your tutor. It's time for you to know me. 
She said she's going to ask. Ask. So yes, we're very curious. So yes, ask. We're curious too. Yes. <laughs> share. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good. This is a good question. Hey, share this page too. By the way. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. You guys share this. page. You guys want to share this before we get into the letter? Maybe you want to share it with your friends or share it on your Facebook page. You know, I think maybe a lot of people might have some struggles with focus. This is a way to kind benefit. of spend spread the love of um of the positivity of helping us all forward. And we all kind of work as a community. It's, I was just gonna say it's a, it's a really good community. It's a nice right? community so. to kind of share ways to help one another because you know I'm gonna tell you something. There's a lot of people struggling. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of people struggling and so yeah. you'd be surprised who it could touch um if you share it. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay this one I, I kind of like this question because this I know we all can probably relate to this. She says, I see 606 everywhere. This is mm. about numbers, right? Mm -hmm. We see the same numbers. She says, on grocery receipts, the mm -hmm. clock in my car, at home, gas pumps, etc. I even saw 606 at Costco on the register. Honestly, it's been happening for years. So what about the numbers when we keep seeing that same sequence of numbers? What does 6 mean to you? I don't know. She's going to have to tell us. Yeah. What does the number 6 mean to you? Um, I just got interrupted. It did? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, back it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, what does six mean to you? Um, are you receiving it at certain hours of the day? Um, you know, you have to pay attention to how the signs are showing up. So you say in receipts, um, it's showing up in different kind of ways, but where is it showing up? Like, is it, um, um, what, what, what are you doing when the signs are coming? Like when you get six six oh six, what what are you doing? Um, what's happening? Is there a connection there with what you're doing and receiving? Um, so you know, pay attention to uh, maybe even when you're receiving a specific sign. Like, is there a consistency in what you're doing at the time you're receiving? That's all data. Well, Lena just put, and this this is what I see all the time. She yeah. says, I'm not sure what the numbers mean. She says, I see a lot of people saying they see numbers, yeah. I, and I see what she sees. I see eleven, eleven, one, eleven. I see elevens. Throughout the day, every day for years. So yeah. I know a lot. Yeah, of you know, it's different for everyone. Like, I never got numbers. I still don't. I never get numbers. I never get 11, right. 11, 11. But here's the thing. I also don't put focus to it. Funny, you know, it's about focus. I just happen to look up, and that's but, what it is all yeah. the time. No matter what I look at. TV, you know. You the, are. All I, the time. So I do, yeah, yeah, okay. So, you know, it's different. Now, we're, yeah. we're going to receive symbols in different ways, right? So your symbol of numbers, you know, could be meaningful for you. Maybe, at, maybe kind of research a little bit about the meaning of numbers, you know, the meaning of those particular numbers. Um, how are you feeling when you're receiving the numbers? Are you feeling down? So is it maybe somebody coming in to want to uplift you? Um, is it, you know, what's going on in your life when you're receiving them? Is there a connection towards how you're feeling when you're receiving those numbers? Yeah. Because that could be a sign for you to know someone's coming in to support you. Um, so pay attention to how you're feeling, what you're doing. There's a connection to that when you receive Sorry, these symbols. We keep interrupting. I, yeah, because I'm not interrupting. I'm no, maybe forward. I hope it's just me. Maybe it's just me that keeps yeah, freezing what? up. I don't know. Four G oh. or something? I don't know. <laughs> just let us know <laughs> if, it's, not, if, if anybody else is interrupting. Yeah, if anyone's getting yeah, interrupted, please. let me know. If if your signal's um, interrupted, we need to know if it's Gia. <laughs> Gia's getting. We want to know if it's Gia I've getting been sitting here getting goosebumps what? the whole time. You're it could be me. Yeah, it could be me. Well, you know, I do believe that spirit is around us. And mind you, you know, we get a lot of people on, and then you know, loved ones come in, and then my guides are in, and you know, I mean, it's a lot. So it it it's possible. I mean, I'm I'm connected to the highest fiber. I can't imagine, you know, unless there's. I am too. I, I maybe things happening beyond our. <laughs> maybe our just me. Our just me. Um, okay, Melissa said she had this weird, she says, I have this weird thing happen, I'm wondering about it. Mm -hmm. At work, I work in a pet hotel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a pet that comes there just stop, pops in my head, and I think about them. It is usually done that I haven't seen, in a, one that I haven't seen in a while. She says, then they end up showing up the next day or a few days later. Is that just a weird coincidence? No. It's a psychic hit. Yeah. I mean, that's when psychic stuff really hit for me a lot, was I would think of something and then it would show up, or... Um, I would think of somebody and then it would be in the newspaper or I would, um, you know, uh, think about a, a TV actor and then it was the first page of the, when I went to the doctor's office and it was, it was always like that. It was constantly, uh, these, um, things hitting. I, I, I call them hits. <laughs> That's what I call them. So I don't, I don't know what the, yeah. the term really is. But I call them psychic hits. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, um, psychic hits. And Tabitha just commented that she said she's been having signs this past week, or at least what she thinks are signs, 
uh, trying to figure it out. But she she said she, uh, I guess she'll ask is what she's saying that she'll ask. ask you know, guys, yeah. you gotta you know, ask. listen. Here we are. We're saying like, I want to know what this means. I want to know what that means. That's happening to me. That's happening to me. And these these things are coming to you, for you. These things are coming to you for you. So it's for you to ask, right? Makes sense. So it's like you're getting this stuff. You know, I'm not getting that stuff for you. You're getting that stuff for you. So you 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 should ask. What is this? What does it mean? What are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me? Who are you? Ask. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the good news. Nobody else is having the interruptions. It's apparently just me. Oh, and it's if just you look, look at my screen, it's completely frozen. It's just been freezing. So I might be lagging on some of the comments too. Because oh, I, I look at look at my it's just completely frozen for me. It's been doing this the whole time. I have never had this issue. Mm. Ever. So we're just gonna, you know. And yes, Evie said pets are very connected with the spirit world, which you know, yeah, they are. Yeah, of course. Yes, they are. Very much. Yeah, you know, we talked about that last week, you know, dogs and kitties and horses. And I mean, if I brought them cats and dogs and kitties and uh, horse, uh, wolves, um, I've brought them through lots of animals from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, another question I got last yeah. week, I think, um, Cat Kramer. I think Cat Kramer. I don't know if I smell my right. My writing's right. Um, said I. I lost. Oh, I lost both my kids. When I get signs, I try to decide which one it is. My son passed in 05 and my daughter in two eighteen. I think it's my daughter because I'm losing. Okay. So first of all, cat. Terribly sorry for your loss. I am. I can't even imagine. I, I am, I'm so sorry. Um, of course, your children would want to come, be near you, and give you signs. Of course. So um, that's yes. So your question is who? How do you know which child it is? And again, what's the feeling and the thought you had when you received the sign? Because they give you something that gets you to trigger something. So what is this triggering? What's your thought? What's your process? What 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 are you thinking? What's a memory um, that's coming up, and who was it with? Does that make sense? So always trust that the sign or the symbol is gonna allow make you feel towards one or the other. Okay, and that would be your answer, in my opinion. Without doing a, a session, um, I would say it would be that. So um, trust on the feeling and the thoughts that you get from the symbols and signs that you receive. I'm very sorry. Another question, Jonna, question, is it common hey, for, for them to come through your electrical, such as lights, flickering and lights, and never worked, that never even worked coming on? She says, also my oven comes on by itself. Yeah, um, well, if somebody on the other side, did you just cook with them? <laughs> Um, electricity, yes. Um, yes, a thousand percent, yes. I mean, How about and phones? lights, Cause... phones, lights. I told you I had somebody that came in and phoned and actually was speaking to me and they were already on the other side. So, yes, um, that was a clear indicator that I was connected with the other side. I'm like, well, I think this is going farther than I thought. <laughs> when I received that phone call, I'm like, that person's not even here anymore. Um, but yes, uh, lights, absolutely. I, 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 I don't know if I shared it once on Facebook, but you know, I remember laying in bed and all of a sudden all the lights in the room, phew, all of them came on. It was pitch dark room, phew, all of them come in. And it happened a couple of times in a row um, in one week. And my husband was sitting next, laying next to me. He's like, tell them to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm tr tell them to knock it off. Because <laughs> it would go from darkness to like, Oh, like every light on in the ceiling would go on and the fan. So, um, yeah, I also being in England, it happened as I just got to the hotel, I was getting ready to do a week of mediumship and boom, it's like, they're letting me know, okay, you're here. So are we. <laughs> so yes, uh, electrical. Um, yes. Lights. Yes. I don't know about an oven. I would say yes, because it's electrical too. So I would probably say, why not? I would say yes. Um, phones. Yes. Whatever. Face. Yeah. Whatever's going on here tonight. I've yeah. never seen in all the weeks we've been doing this. I've never seen my phone freeze more than it's been live. Yes. Yeah. It's very strange, but everybody yeah. else seems to be okay. So, mm. you know, sorry. <laughs> um, you know, Tabitha says this. Hi, Tabitha. She says she has a hair appointment tomorrow, and the girl was like, okay, you're going to be with Savannah. 
She goes, that was my daughter's name. Same day I thought of her. So there's a perfect example, there right? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, it could happen like that too, with mm -hmm. names, you know? So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, cool, right? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Um, Okay, is there any other questions? We'll, see um, well Shauna other. just said it's the best live ever. She says you already answered so many questions oh, good. that she had. So that's awesome. You know, I always say like even in my um, my readings, I always start off with a little bit of an introduction. Um, so, and also like in my readings, when I do readings, I always tell my clients, I'm always educating my clients as I go through the reading. And I do that because, you know, I want you to understand why your loved ones are giving certain messages. You know, I want you to understand the process, you know, and, and why it's unfolding the way it is um, and you know, why certain messages are kind of coming forward, you know, and um, and, and and how they communicate. Um, and um, yeah, so I, I, I'm a big believer in communication and education and um, understanding. And, you know, I mean, just a couple other yeah. comments, because this is really I think people, this is what they love. They love that they love the letters from spirit, but they love asking <laughs> these questions. So I want to tell oh, you, do you like the letters from spirit no, they more love or the those... question answering more? What do you guys like more? Let me know. Yeah, I think they love. Both. I want to know. I mean, just uh, <laughs> oh, John has said my son passed away. He had a, had a reading with you and he was the one that gave you the pop tarts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Re... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Hi. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah. And, and I know you already, you've been touching on this throughout already this evening, but, um, Dodie said, this is really touching me. She said, this is Hi, really Dodie. touching me right now. Lost mm -hmm. my husband two months ago and I'm struggling. Yeah. I think I see signs. At least I want to believe it. You say, ask, how do I know if they've answered? You might know right away. You might know like the gal who, had a hair appointment and found out that the hairdresser is going to be a person that's the same name, you see. So you might get it that way the next day or the day after, but you will receive your answer. You will receive your answer. Do you step into your life open to find them? Do you step into your life looking, going about your life, and then just being open to receive the answers? You know, because how we step into our life matters too, right? Like how we are stepping into our day, how we're stepping into our circumstances, and how, how are we are we are we allowing the idea that this is not to be brushed aside? There's a reason why I just got this or this just came in. Are we connecting the dots? Is what I'm trying to say. You know, I always feel like life is all about connecting these dots all the time. Like we always have to have like our, our little ballpoint pen. <laughs> Because there's always these yeah. dots to connect and, you know, but do we see the dots and are we trying to connect them? Good point. Good so point. that's, you know, is that, you know, we should have that intention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. People are, by the way, they like both. People they enjoy like both. both. Okay. Uh, but they, but they also find this very helpful. So, uh, I like to mix it. Yeah. Debbie said it's, they're all same book, but, but this is helpful <laughs> to us in many, many of us in different ways. Yeah, right? perfect. So. And that's why if, if my lives can help you all in one way and somebody else in another way, as long as I'm helping you, that's what I care about. I want to come forward and help you. I want to help answer questions. I want to help give you some peace and understanding things better. I want to be able to give you things through the letters to help you move forward a little bit easier and see things a little bit differently. Whatever it is, I just, I come these Monday nights, I mean, I, I, I like helping. You do. So I, I you're hope, good at it. I hope you're, you're thank you. I hope you all are feeling um, it. So thank you. Mm -hmm. So you have your workshop coming up this Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I do. My uh, spirit guide workshop is going to be this Sunday and I'm only going to allow maybe two more tickets. I'm kind of already at a comfortable place here, but, um, I could do two more tickets. I don't like my, my, um, my courses too big. So I want to make it manageable and still cozy enough. So um, if you guys are interested in wanting to learn a little bit more about signs and symbols and connecting and um, it's, it's a spirit guide workshop about connecting um, with guides, right? And we all have them. But you know, when we're connecting with guides, we're also, you know, connecting with spirit. So you've got a couple spots left there. Yeah. Okay. And that's this Sunday. And then of course, 
if somebody wants to do a private reading with you, what's the best yes. way <laughs> is to go on your website? Yeah. So go on my website. So if you want a private reading with me, yeah. um, uh, you just go on my website, monicaturlings.com. And just on the top of the page, you'll see a menu. Uh, click on the menu. The second one down will say book a personal reading. Click on it. You'll go. It'll go right to a little video and take you right to my um, calendar where you can uh, book your reading, um, the time and day that you want. It'll well, the time and day that's available, and it will show up in your time zones. So whatever time you see will be in your time zone. And uh, once you uh, do that and you go through the purchase and you, you buy it, you will get a Zoom link and a confirmation um, that you are confirmed. And it will then be dropped into my calendar, and we will meet in Zoom. And if you want a phone reading instead, then um, there's a button when you go through my website and you can call me direct to book a reading or go through the process, get a Zoom link, and then you can just email me and tell me you want to read it and then I'll switch it in my calendar to a phone reading. And you just give me your phone number. Um, but yeah, but all my readings right now are on Zoom and on um, the telephone. Can I just run through a couple more comments before you get <laughs> yeah. to Letters from Spirit? Because okay. there's some just some great stories people are sharing. So love I'm going to run through them. I um, love stories. Shauna said that she finds dimes all the time in strange mm -hmm. places. And then she says, I know they're from my mom who passed mm -hmm. away eight years ago. It's her 72nd birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. Yeah. Happy spirit birthday. Um, Brianna loves your beautiful spirit. Aww, thank Carrie you, says Brianna. you have a contagious smile. Aww. <laughs> uh, thank you. Chris said, a couple of weeks ago, I was reading my brother's last text to me before he passed, and I felt something gently drop on the top of my head. Yeah. There you go. Mine used to do it on my hair. Get like little things on my hair. Get yeah. little tingles? I had somebody rub the No, back they were of my actually head. like kind of pulling my hair a little bit. I had, remember I told you I had somebody, I was against yeah. the wall, but somebody yeah. was rubbing the back of my yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, perfect. Yeah. And then you feel that. Again, like I always tell you guys, spirits settle. You know, it's subtle. You're going to feel little things, you know, but are you aware? You know, yeah. are you connecting the dots? Are you aware? You know, are you thinking it has to be big old things, you know, because nine out of ten times it's not. They're very subtle. Subtle. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. um, just, gotta, Lori had a quick okay. question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much time should you have before uh, in between readings? Mm. Yeah, um, I got that. So the other day, somebody, yeah, well, I think um, we had addressed that last week. But, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but somebody even messaged um because I, I get a lot of people that message me questions too. Um, and, um, you know, here's what I say. You know, I feel you will know when it's time. I just feel spirit will move you to want to have one. Your soul will move you to want to have one. Um, you know, um, assuming you're not trying to do this, you know, all the time. Because I, I don't believe that you should be having readings all the time. You know, it shouldn't, it, it's, it's to help. Sorry, somebody just walked by on the wall. So I'm sorry. This is freaky deaky in here tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Just walk into my world. Yeah. Um anyway, uh what was I talking about? I'm sorry, we're talking about time in between readings. Yes, time in between readings. Thank you. Focus. I'm like having um, a three year old in your room tonight, aren't I? <laughs> Um, yes. So I want to say, what I just want to say is, you know, it's not meant to have all the time, right? So it's, mediumship readings are about to help you forward, connect every now and again. So I have clients that like, they'll connect with me, you know, with their loved ones, because it's, you know, um, I find out later that, oh, it was their birthday or their spirit day or anniversary. They've got, you know, there's, you, you, could, you could do it. You can, you can connect with them. I just say, don't make it frequent, you know, because it's supposed to help you forward. And it's um, not to be used in the need of, I gotta have, you know, it's about when you feel drawn to wanna have one again. You know, when you just feel kind of moved to wanna have one again, um, then it's time to have one again. You know, and I just think you will know that because you will know. You will know, like, when I just, I just keep thinking about it, it just keeps showing up. I keep, you know, um, you're getting signs maybe that things are showing up on your feet or things are happening or, or you just, you just feel it, you know, trust the feelings. So you'll know when it's time to have another reason. You just will. I know that's not necessarily the greatest answer, but it's my truthful answer because I right. really believe it's individual for everyone. And right. some people need a few to help them forward, right? So I don't want to say not to have them in a little bit more frequently in the beginning if you have a need for that. But you will know by how you feel when you need one. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense to me. Um, yeah, just all the same comments. Uh, oh, Heather said she had her, my mom and sisters had a private reading last week with you. You are amazing. That was Heather. Oh, I know. thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Thank you. You know, um, thank you. I, um, 
I love working with the spirit world and I love fostering the connections for my clients and their loved ones. I, I love it. I really love it. And I'm really happy that you loved it. So thank you. What's tonight's uh, letters from spirit? Oh, it is. It's hot today. I was going to tell you. I think you, they turned down the air. I was going to ask you. You know, I'm, hot hot? You. I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Should I go turn down the air? It's okay. We'll, we'll make Are you it. Sure? Yeah, okay. we're okay. I'm, when you're going through that, I'm probably going to try to bounce out and bounce back in because I've literally been frozen all okay. time, and I don't want to miss anybody's comments. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna give away a reading tonight, yes. by the way. So understand that we're gonna give away a reading. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And did we go through everything? We did. My little quotes. We did. No quotes will be after. Yeah, um, I know. Um, okay. Oh, I just want to say one more thing that um, before I get into the letter, but otherwise I'll forget. I know I'm focused. Um, I want to say that um, for those of you that are doing small group readings with me this week, because uh, I have um, several this week, I have Friday, I have two Friday and one Saturday um, and uh, my workshop uh, Sunday. So all of those Zoom links, I'm going to do all on Thursday morning. So I've set out the morning, I've made time in the morning to send out all those Zoom links for everybody's group readings and the workshop. So just know if you haven't received one yet, a Zoom link for your readings, because I haven't sent them out yet, they're going to come out on Thursday. Okay, so look in your junk folder, spam folder if you don't see it in your inbox. Okay, Thursday morning. All right. Okay, no, I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to read a letter from Spirit. And all right, so... My girlfriend, I was on the phone with uh, my friend in Tennessee, and we were talking, and she's like, oh, today's topic is going to, the, the F word <laughs> is focus. That would be focus. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so focus is our uh, topic here, and um, how to be focused when life looks blurry. Um, I kind of added that because it used to be color. Right okay, um, here we go. It is a wonderful time to share space with all of you in this way. Our intent is to come forward and to bring forward things for you to ponder, to find new ways of seeing yourselves and your circumstances of seeing things in your life. Oftentimes, you all tend to look at the areas in which are not going so well for you. Yes, you tend to put focus and attention in areas that are indeed at a place where it is not of your liking. And we say you seem to spend a lot of time there. Yes, we say, many of you spend a lot of time focusing in areas that do not give you the feelings that you like, that do not give you the experiences that you like, that do not give you feelings within you that you like. So today, we'd like to speak a bit about focus. Where are you focusing your thoughts? Where are you focusing your attention? Where are you focusing your time? For within these questions that we ask you, you will be able to know more of how your time is spent, you see. Are you spending time in our thoughts that feel good to us? Are we spending time in our day doing things that feel good to us? Are we spending time with those that make us feel good? Are we having conversations and topics that feel good? Are we having thoughts that feel good? Where are you placing your focus? Are you placing focus in an area that feels uncomfortable? Receiving emotions from where you're placing focus that again, feel uncomfortable to you. For as you always spend time and focus placed in areas that feel uncomfortable, you will receive emotions that feel uneasy and unsettling. For there will always be more coming to you from wherever it is that you're placing focus. And you see, it is very easy to place focus in any direction. It is always of your choosing, you see, of where you place your focus, where you place your time, where you put your attention. And we just wish to put a flashlight here to say that there are so many of you that tend to place your attention in areas that bring you more of the things that you do not want. These things can be conversations. These things can be people. These things can be circumstances. These things indeed can be thoughts. But thoughts and people and attention and conversations that don't feel well create more unwell feelings, you see. And so it does not serve you at all to place focus in areas that do not feel well to you. And we say here that we wish to give you an understanding that it is always your choice and always your decision of where you begin to place your focus. And we understand that sometimes 
focus may linger. And you may have the intention to try very hard to place focus in areas that feel better for you and place attention and time spent in areas that feel good to you. And then gradually and slowly, things linger away back to the place that feels unwell. And we say, we understand. We understand that it is not easy to control your focus. But we say, you do have the ability to control and to decide in where you place your focus. And so we just wish you to understand that it is always in your decision. And although you may decide to place focus somewhere with the right intention and the right energy place, and you start off the day very well like that, and then by noontime, we say, you begin to feel a bit differently. And this is your indicator that perhaps maybe you have gotten off road a bit, that perhaps maybe here is where you need to stop and pause and realign your tires. Because when you drive a car and you have tires that are unaligned, they take you to the right or they drive you to the left and they do not drive you straight. Do you agree? You all have had tires that had alignment issues. And when you drive and you let go of the wheel, your car will pivot one way or pivot another way, but it does not pivot straight. And we say straight is the way to drive because when you drive straight, you are focused. And when you drive straight, you know you're going to a destination of your liking. But as you let go of the wheel and you begin to stop paying attention to how you are feeling, you see, you begin to allow those tires to lose the alignment and they start veering off course, off course for yourself, you see. Do you see what we mean? If you can just think of yourself as the vehicle and you with these lovely tires, starting out your day driving with focus and direction and with clear knowing of where you want to go, the intentions that you set, we say, and how you wish your day to be and the energy place you wish to feel doing it. And you go with the intent to drive straight, hands on the wheel, tires aligned. And then gradually through the hours of the day, you get a little sidetracked, you see. Conversations show up in your experience. Circumstances begin to show up in your experience and other things begin to need your attention. And then in that moment, your hands begin to loosen from the steering wheel. And then you begin to recognize that the car now you is now moving in a different direction that you had indicated. And we say it is very mindful to pay attention to how you feel for it is your feelings that will allow you to be aware of the alignment of those tires. That when you begin to feel you being pivoted and moved and taken off course a bit, it is when you must stop and refocus and redirect and place your hands back onto the wheel. To place your hands back on the wheel where you began and you may have control again. And sometimes unknowingly, your hands just become a little too loose on that wheel. And sometimes the hands fall short and instead of two hands on the wheel, sometimes you have only one. And then your experiences in the day begin to go off into different directions. So what we wish to say to you here is to always have a check-in with yourself, to always check in with yourself through the day to make sure your hands are always on your own steering wheel. And what we mean by this is to always pause a bit through the day, allow yourself a meter for yourself to just check in with yourself. You place a lot of things on your calendar you should make a mental note with yourself as well. Plan something every few hours to just sit a moment and say, how am I feeling? To just allow yourself every couple hours to just give yourself 30 seconds. That is all that is needed. 30 seconds is more than enough to just sit and feel into how has my day been going so far. The feelings that you receive from that question that you ask yourself and as you know, we say, it is very good and very important to ask questions, to always be asking questions to yourself. And if you could make a habit, an intention 
for yourself to always check in with yourself every few hours to decide if in fact your hands have still been placed on the wheel, that you have been driving straight, your focus not being taken off from that desire of the experiences you're wanting to have of the energy place that you wish to choose to step into. That if you can just step in every day and check in with yourself quickly for 30 seconds and say, this is my time now. I'm going to give myself 30 seconds to just make sure my tires are aligned, that my hands are on the wheel and I am in charge of this vehicle that is me. Knowing that I am choosing where I am driving and when I take focus off the direction in which I want my life to go today, it is me taking my hands off the wheel. And if my car is not driving straight, I know I am not aligned. And I know I am not aligned, my tires are not aligned by the way I am feeling. So it is wonderful for you to stop, pay attention, feel into how you begin your day. Get yourself in that energetic place with a full tank onto the road with your hands on the wheel, with the intention of where you are going, with focus placed in the direction you want to go, with the experiences that you want to have, with the energy that you want to step into and move. And then every two hours, check in for just 30 seconds. How am I feeling? And if you're finding yourself feeling differently than when you intended a few hours prior, you know now you have driven a bit off course. Your tires not aligned and the car is pivoting too far to the right or too far to the left and you are no longer driving straight. That is for you now to say, time to put my hands back on the wheel, time to take charge of this vehicle that is me, time to renavigate myself straight once again. This is a lovely exercise for you to do and when you become a habit maker of this particular exercise, it will become second nature because habits need practice. And in the beginning, you need to be very mindful of making the time to do this. But before long, it will become second nature to you. And you will always be driving through your day, always being made aware of whenever your body is giving you an indication that your hands have now been placed off of the wheel. And so we say it will be wonderful for you to begin to make an intention for yourself and give yourself 30 seconds every few hours to just check in. How am I doing? How am I feeling? How has my day been going for me? And when you recognize you got a little off road, your hands a little bit off the wheel, your tires feeling a bit unaligned, feeling you have now moved in a new direction, you can pause and say, what has happened? What brought me here? What took my hands off the wheel? Because this is information and data for you, you see. It is very important for you to become aware of what things occur in your life that allows you to let the hands slip off the wheel or what slowly and gradually takes you off course. Do you see what we mean? We are here to shine a light with you to say that you are the driver. You are the driver of your vehicle. You are the driver of your car. And it is for you to decide if your hands stay on the wheel or not. It is for you to decide what direction you are going at the start of your day. And it is for you to always be mindful just as you do as you drive your real car. You do not take your focus off the freeway, do you not? You stay focused when you are driving. And we say, the moment you daydream when you are driving, you oftentimes miss the exit. Do you understand? And we say in life, as you go through your day with the intent to have your hands on the wheel, in charge of the direction in which you're going, in charge of what you are looking to experience for the day, in charge of choosing to have feelings that feel better each day, experiences that feel better, conversations that feel better, moving in the direction of doing things that feel happier, it is always you choosing that. Understand that when you move away from those feelings and your experiences begin then to change. It is only you recognizing then that my hands have slipped off the wheel. I am no longer focused in the direction I intended at the start of my day. 
and it is the t it is the same as you drive on the highways or the freeways and you daydream a bit and you lose your exit and then you have to renavigate yourself back and return back to focus of where it is that you were going and it is the same here we say and this will serve you very well to know and understand that focus is always necessary in your life the focusing of how you're Feeling is always very important in your life, and to keep control of what you are wanting to experience is always for you. And it is always your choice to decide to do that or not. You are your own driver, and you may drive down a road you choose. And there are many roads in life, life giving you many experiences, many roads to travel down, we say. And it is always for you to decide what road feels good to you. This is not something somebody else could ever tell you. Nobody knows what road is better for you than you. And you see, we are always wanting you to sit with self because it is within yourself that you are always being guided to the road that is for you. And you're always being guided by the emotions that you're feeling within your body. Your emotions are navigating you towards the road that feels good for you or not feel good to you. And the road that feels good to you is always the emotions that feel good to you. And the emotions that do not feel good to you is always an indicator that you are a bit off road. A road that is not meant for you. That you'd put your hands off the wheel and you are now a little bit driving with your line, your tires unaligned. But you always have a choice to renavigate yourself back just as you drive down the freeway or highway or road and you lose your exit. You become aware, do you not? And we wish you here to understand that you too can become aware often through the day to keep you on the road that is right for you by paying attention to how you were feeling and to make the time to check in yourself. And we say check in with yourself because it is within where you hold the feelings. It is within where you know if something feels good or not. It is never externally. It is always internally. So always trust what you feel internally to know the direction on the road that you the vehicle are driving down and become aware always of how you feel. We say this is an exercise that would be very helpful for you to keep you focused and aligned. And alignment is quite important for when we are aligned with yourself, you always feel better. And this is why it's important to keep your hands on the wheel for when your hands are on your wheel, you're always aligned. And when you let go of your steering wheel in life, your tires become unaligned and they go in a direction that is not intended for you. So we wish to give you this little nugget to think and process. Yes, we love so much stepping in here and giving you easy ways to help you step into your day. You are marvelous beings and you have so many roads in life that you can select and choose from. How exciting. It is always for your picking. It is always for your choosing. So choose what feels good and always try to stay on the road that is there for you, that offer the experiences of your wanting and to understand that if you get sidetracked, your hands off the wheel, your tires a bit unaligned, it is always possible to realign yourself once again. It is always possible to move yourself back to focus, back to your hands on the wheel by simply making the awareness of it. It is as easy as that. So we say every two hours, begin to just give yourself 30 seconds. Give yourself this quick little exercise that will train yourself to become mindful and aware of your feelings through the day. This will help you very much to stay on the road that is very much right for you. We love so much stepping forward here. We love so much having this engagement. We love so much being a part of you in this way and sharing easy ways to help you each along. For it is our desire to come forward and help you, help you in the ways we feel will give you a contribution that will add value to you and your life. It is so. And until next time, we say, there is always great love for you here. It is so. Great letter. Lots of comments. That's a long one. <laughs> Lots of comments. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, perfect. So, um, yeah, so that was... Um, Edgar's take on helping us stay focused, the importance of focus, and really how they're always trying to give us our own power. They're always trying to put power back to us, put 
allowing us to feel our own power by saying we are in charge, we are in control, we are the vehicle, and we are driving this vehicle, and it's always for us to choose where we want to go. And if we get sidetracked, always know we can always renavigate as to what feels better if we just become aware that the reason why we're not feeling good is because we got off road. Which there's some comments here, which is going to, that's the answer. I mean, okay. I'm just going to read a couple out yeah, here. Yeah, please. Yeah. Stacy said every time she tries to focus, every single time something seems to block the road ahead. I don't know. She says what's, and she mentions that a few times here. Mm -hmm. So I think you just answered that question. Mm -hmm. You're probably on the wrong road. It's probably not the right thing, I'm yeah. guessing, right? Sometimes we stay focused in areas because we're supposed to stay focused there, we think, or someone tells us we need to be going this direction. You know, we have to sit and say, does this really feel right for me? If you're honest with yourself, if it's so exciting for you and you want it so much, it probably would it would probably move a bit easier, right? So yeah. we have to ask ourselves, we're focused in a direction, but is it a direction that gives us the experience that we really want? And if you're not sure, then you haven't sat enough with yourself to get clarity on what it is you really want. Like Edgar says, there's many roads and you're always able to choose whichever one. Follow the one that feels good, but choose the one that gives you the experiences that you are wanting. And they said, only you know that. Uh, Mary states, she says, let your wheel guide you. Listen to your inner voice. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Who said that? Mary. Oh, I love that, Mary. Fabulous. Um, Wonderful. You know, this is a good comment because mm -hmm. I think this happens to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Pamela says, I keep directing my focus on what others want me to do and not what I, I want to do. Right. Yeah. I guess I need to make a conscious yes. decision, choice not to do that. I yes. think that happens for a lot of people. Yeah, because right? so many of us are saying, like, you got to do that. You got to do this. It's got to be that. You know, you're at this age. You should be doing that. You're a mother of da da da. You should be doing this. You should... A lot of people kind of tell us what we need to be doing. And it takes us away from ourselves. And that's us being unaligned in straight terms it's it's hands going off the wheel now we're allowing someone else to drive us or we're just letting the car take us wherever it's going to go and mm -hmm. you know so I, I think we've all been guilty of that sometimes Absolutely. darling i mean i've been there i've been there and it and it and it, and it didn't feel good and it took a while for me to realize that hey this isn't for me it, you know it wasn't for me and so we have to sit with ourselves and say maybe i just don't like this yeah and I'm going to read this next comment because I, I mean, and I'll read it to you, kind of, you're conditioned to, right, from a very young age. Sure. So uh, Melissa says, unfortunately, my focus is much better on what is going wrong or the negative. I must have learned or been around it early on. She says, now I still struggle with trying to change the way I think, being more positive in my thinking and more about myself. It's very hard for me, but I am trying to change and doing it with baby steps, mm. you know. A lot of it is Well, good. You know, here it is, but that's what's good news for you is – you're now becoming aware of it. That maybe a year ago or two years ago, you weren't even aware of it. You weren't even aware that you were kind of conditioned like that or um, that maybe past stuff has made you kind of stay more in the negative. Or is, But now even just, just being aware is, is in the right direction. That's putting your hands on the wheel. So bravo. Awareness. Bravo for doing yeah. that. Awareness, because that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so good for you, darling. Good for you. Yeah. Good for being aware like that. And that's taking steps forward. That's getting you focused, go, driving straight, like the guide said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mary says, we so owe this to ourselves to check in throughout the day and then put our hands back on that wheel. So. Yeah. Check in. Look, they said 30 seconds. Take 30 seconds to say, hey, how's the day been going so far? Check in with myself. Yep. Okay, good. So far, so good. Still liking it. Continue. I'm still driving straight. Uh-oh, this happened, that happened. Like they said, sometimes circumstances, people, conversations, experiences show up in our life and it, it reroutes us. It, it takes us off course. And so that's why they say every couple hours, check in so you'll know. And then, uh-oh, why did this happen? What happened in my day? What happened? Was it the conversation? Was it the experience? Was it the person? What was it? So you have data now to understand what takes you off course. So you can learn from that experience by being aware of knowing that that doesn't work for you. Yeah. And, and Evie just said it, directions mm -hmm. change constantly, right? Yeah. I mean, so just what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, Kim Kim says, this is great. Thank you. 2020 has certainly helped me realign and focus. Yeah. But these All words will encourage me to continue mm -hmm. to focus and realign. Wonderful. Love that. Perfect. Good. And I was a little bit of a longer letter, but, you know, they were kind of into it. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, a lot of uh, Cassie said, wow, powerful letter needed to hear it. Perfect. Nina says, wonderful letter. I've been focusing on this. I love the specific guidance Edgar has given. You know, it's interesting too, because 
see the guys are like really in. They're really. <laughs> it's been a little crazy really in here, here tonight. Yeah, I it's, have to it's tell really, you. it really is amplified here. Um, it really for sure. is. I feel it. So there must be many people that are tuned in today yeah. that this really resonates with because um, I just feel they're coming in strong. Watch one day. They're going to start talking right through me when I'm on a Facebook live. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. I want to see that one. Oh I, I just, they're going to start coming in closer and closer. All of a sudden, they're just going <laughs> to. You're probably right. That <laughs> might happen. I, wow. I don't well, I don't, that's what I'm happen. saying. You're oh, right. No, no, they they no, have but, to be around because I, well, all the weeks I've sat here, I've told you I mean, 17 I weeks. I kept hitting my head because it's like, Come I've down. never had my phone has actually, and you can look at yeah. my screen. It has been frozen the yeah. majority of this. I thank God I'm getting the yeah, comments. It's a lot of stuff going on. Here Seeing today. shadows walk across the wall in here. I mean, so yeah, that's great. Everybody's tuned in. So. Yeah, they're all like, yeah. they're all like, um, yeah, which is awesome. It's I mean, awesome. think about all that love and support for us. Think about that. How amazing is that? Everyone kind of chiming in from the other side, like you know, really, you know, um, loving us gathering like this. You know, yeah, lots of comments. They they really just love the message. Um, Brianna loves the message. Oh. Perfect. Shana, beautiful message. Perfect. Lana, very helpful. Perfect. Heather, lots of hearts. Perfect. Thanks, um, Heather. Pamela, great message from Thank Edgar. You, good. Debbie good, good, says good. that was amazing. <laughs> Chris says excellent. Um, beautiful letter, powerful letter and message. Wow. I love it. Um, love it. Thank you, Edgar. It makes me push. Oh. Gets me like totally emotional. Isn't that good though? I mean, that, that means you're making a difference. That's what you're trying to do. So that's awesome. You got to hear those messages. Sorry, guys. I, I'm making her cry by doing this. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a lot of spirits around here tonight. Um, all, well, while you're doing that, Erica said you need focus, not daydreaming to navigate the road of life. Yes. Keep your hands on the wheel and pull over and take that much-needed <laughs> break. Then get back on that road, both hands on that wheel, and focus. Great letter. <laughs> Perfect. You know what I love, too, that they always seem to um, put the letters in ways that are easy for us mm -hmm. to understand. Like, we've all had an unaligned tire. We, we've all missed an exit on a freeway, you right? Know? Or we daydream, I mean, or we've daydreamed yeah. like, oh, we lost where we're going, where we're going, we miss it. So I mean, we've all done that. So I just love how they they really keep it in a way that we can really um, resonate with it. Well, they love the metaphor. Alicia said <laughs> Edgar, Edgar is on fire tonight. <laughs> Driving a car is a perfect metaphor for achieving focus and yeah. ultimately success. The road is never straight ahead. We do make a series of counter steering course corrections. Um, spirit message noted. Course corrected. Life is much better. Mm, good. Good. Love. Perfect. Love yeah. that. I mean, I could go on and on. Yeah, good. Yeah. I will. Um, I'm going to listen to all the comments um, yes, later I tonight. Back. I will kind of go back in. But um, it was a little bit of a longer letter here today, but apparently maybe needed, right, yeah, for all way. of us. And, you know, there's been so much noise and distraction going on in life right now, too, right? So, um, you know, I mean, there's been, I feel like there's been nothing but noise and construction all around us all the time. And so it can be hard to be focused when there's so much um, stuff in like one of the gals is here online and all the negativity, you know? So it's really good to be able to um, understand what we can do for ourselves to stay focused. Yeah, great you know? mess. I mean, you, you'll see when good. you go back. I mean, okay, good. I'll, I'll, I'll read more. Sure. Yes, I'll read more. Should um, you give away reading? Yeah, do you guys want to win a reading? Some fun. Yeah, okay. Let's win a reading. Um, and uh, okay, perfect. So also just really quick, we're going to, okay, so we're going to win a reading. Um, I'm going to do that right now. And I just would like you guys to um, just write a sentence on, you know, just one quick sentence on what you can do. Um, to have more focus um, in your life. And, and right? just one time only? One time guys, only. Only please. one comment because I we have, I want to read them all. I'm going to intuitively pick a, 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 a winner. So I'm not going to have anyone's first name or last name. Gia is just going to give me initials. You guys are going to type in a sentence. She's going to, that's why I keep it to one sentence so we can just read them and go on. And then I can stay in my power of reading the um, the messages. So just a sentence of what, what how you're going to use focus in your life now after Edgar shared the letter, how will you implement this? One sentence only, one comment only. Um, and uh, so do that. Um, reminder that uh, if you guys want to read with me, uh, go on my website to uh, book one on my book of personal reading page. Um, also, I just want to kind of say too that my I'm offering only one type of reading now. So it's a spirit hybrid reading. It's one type of reading now. And there's a reason why I did that. There's a reason why I did that. I did that because Lately, Spirit has been incorporating a lot of hybrids into my mediumship readings. There has been a pool into helping somebody in their life. And um, Spirit has moved me there um, 
so many more times and I don't want somebody to come and just want a mediumship reading. I want them always to understand that there's a, there's a chance that the reading might go a little bit into them in their life as well. If spirit moves me there, you see, because, and every single time spirit has moved me into more of their life, it's because it's what they needed. And um, it seemed to be exactly what they needed. So even sometimes we think we need a mediumship reading, but we, um, we really need a lift in our life and spirit will place you in front of me to help me lift and motivate you and push you forward. Um, and this has been a recurring thing in my mediumship readings. And so I just decided I'm just going to do a hybrid, a spirit hybrid reading. It could be, you know, intentionally all, you know, mediumship or all about you and your life, but no, there could be a blend of both. Um, and I want to be able to, to have all my clients understand that so that I can give spirit the freedom to be able to move with the reading in the way you need it. Um, and so it's a spirit hybrid reading. Okay. Um, so hope that answers your question. I hope that makes sense for you on my readings. Um, so I'm just simplifying um, as um, I want to keep it easy for everybody. Okay. Um, spirit guide workshop this Sunday on my website, upcoming events page, uh, Monica .com, upcoming events page, two tickets uh, is what I'll still allow. And then I'm, I'm going to cut it. So, um, if you guys want to get in and uh, learn about connecting with the other side with guides, um, be, I'm going to uh, teach you a little bit about that. We'll do a meditation to help you kind of meet them. Um, and it'll be a fun little three hour, uh, of course it's 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time, 11 o'clock mountain time, 12 o'clock central time. You're getting good One at that. One o'clock. You're getting good at that. <laughs> Eastern time. <laughs> and it's three hours. <laughs> Don't ask oh me to do it. <laughs> all right, good. Yay. Okay. All right. Terrific. So um, are we all paper. still writing? Well, there, well oh, I got plenty to get my paper. Now. Okay. So let me get into the zone. You do your zone. I was called. I have to get in the zone. So again, guys, okay. um, remember there's a lag on this end. So just kind of let me get through everything first. I know last week people thought I wasn't reading. I, whatever order they come up here on my phone is what, how I'm going to read them. And also just always make sure sure that your privacy settings okay are set that all your comments can be read by all and not just the author who of course is Monica so that make sure that I'm getting all comments so if you have reset privacy settings to be only the author can read or only you can see I will not see your comment so just a little heads up but hopefully I'm gonna go ahead and start reading I'm gonna use your initials like Monica said and like I said I'll uh, get through these okay hold on okay okay hang on Ready? Mm -hmm. L S. Be more mentally conscious to participate in my life. R H. Meditate. K M. We are like artists who all have the ability to create a beautiful masterpiece out of our lives. We are powerful beings. We are living canvases with many tools. We just have to choose the right ones that will lead to happiness. We are in control of our masterpiece. DB. I can check in with myself to combat the negativity that I often feel. KA. Meditation. LK. Take time for myself first. DP. Planning to focus on love. LD. Pay more attention. SL. Focus on what feels right for you. Who is that? SL. Mm -hmm. DH. Take the wheel. Focus on driving more straight and align my tires. AC, staying present and grounded, trusting the universe. PS, I'm going to check in with myself for 30 seconds every two hours. BK, I will start checking in on myself throughout the day to stay focused. P-E, keep a strong focus on me. D-L, 
to have more focus, I need to recenter my thought process. MS. If it feels good, you're going in the right direction. TO. Take time out for me to feel all of this and learn that it's okay to not be okay all of the time. KM. I will sit, trust, reflect, and appreciate. PF. I need to make a conscious choice each day to pick my road and keep my hands on the wheel and to check in with my feelings. CH. Positive intentions and focus lead the way. MH. Remember to check in with myself. EF, focusing more on my surroundings and positive energy. DM, I'm going to set an alarm a few times throughout the day to make sure I stop and take a moment to focus. BR, direct my thoughts and energy, focusing on how to better receive the positive messages from the universe. I need it. LM, take time for yourself to stay on the right road. ML, take control of the... Yeah, first one was LM, this is ML. Oh. Take control of the wheel. KM, take 30 seconds when I begin feeling anxiety to check in with myself. SS, I need to focus on my life without my fiance rather than the life I planned with him. LH, try to concentrate on myself and put the grief aside. LV, find my own direction. I don't let anyone else drive my car. LM, stay in the present moment. CO, Try to focus on all the good still left. MM, I'm not going to let people control me. I'm going to keep my hands on the wheel and check in with myself to maintain my confidence, control, and self-worth. I am worthy of love and the ability to be happy while focusing on what is important to me. N-A, soft focus with soothing self-talk to gently guide me down my road. S-S, oh, sorry, that's, that was a comment on a reading. <laughs> we'll skip over that, sorry. Uh, A-A, be open and willing to make small changes to keep my car going straight. K-M, Gently hold the wheel, check in with me often, and listen. EL. I can create a goal for myself and focus on the goal instead of taking detours. WN. 
it's important for me to start focusing on the roads I wish to travel so that I attract those that are best for me. J O. If I feel like I am going to crash, I'm going to break and touch in with myself. A S. I need to redirect my focus and get my wheels back on track. M M. Sit in nature and write. J. That was M M. Uh huh. JM, have a clear destination, keep my eyes on my road and my hands on the wheel. CH, rate myself higher. What was it? CH, rate myself higher. Rate yourself mm -hmm. higher. Yeah, you should rate yourself higher. SS, not procrastinate on the opportunities arising before me. And guys, that is the last comment that I have. So I went right in order. If, if for some reason, give it 30 seconds. Did I not get somebody? Please repost it. But I think I got everybody. Okay. And if anybody okay. else reposts so far, no. So I think we might have everybody. Okay. 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 So I'm I'm gonna be giving uh, two two um, different things here today. You so somebody is going to win a reading with me okay and the other person is going to win a workshop oh cool okay okay all right I just got that so I'm just gonna do that okay? okay all right so I'm gonna give this to Gia so she can tell you who um, right here. okay well I you show me and then which ones which and then you can do your quote while I find them. Um, this one and is the work. Okay, so I will uh, find those while you do okay. quotes. Just okay. give me a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, all right, guys. So we're a little faster this time. That's good. We're getting we're getting better with the with that. Um, okay, perfect. Um, it's kind of fun though to kind of feel into everybody as I'm doing that. So I'm kind of having fun with this new way. Are you guys cool with that? You guys cool with this new way? Let me ask you guys. Are you guys cool with this new way instead of the numbers? Um, are you kind of liking this um, process a little bit better? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you enjoy it. Um, I kind of think like it's a way to kind of just kind of allow the read the the letter to kind of sink in, kind of um, uh, get within us by us all kind of chiming in, and you know by doing that, you everyone kind of can read each other, and so you help one another in the process as well. And again. I love the community here. So um, I kind of like it, but let me know because I don't want to do it if you don't like it. So, um, all right. So quotes, don't get sidetracked by people who are not on track. Kind of like that. Um, stay focused. Ignore the distractions and you will accomplish your goals much faster. Joel Osteen. No one can hit their target without their eyes closed. No one. <laughs> no one can hit their target with their eyes closed. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know who that's from. Um, if I know who it's from, I'll tell you, but I don't always know. Uh, starve your distractions and feed your focus. I love that. Starve your distractions and feed your focus. When you focus on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. I like that too. That's good. Um, you get what you focus on, so focus on what you want. 
But sometimes we kind of have to know what we want, right? Sometimes that's why we have to sit with ourselves. That's why meditation is good and quiet time is good and um, sitting in stillness is good. Um, all that is good. Where focus goes, energy flows. I mean, that's a famous one from Tony Robbins. I, um, I've been very much aware of that one for a long time. Um, stay focused on the outcome, not the obstacles. Don't we sometimes do that? Don't we sometimes get a little stuck on the obstacles? Like, oh, I can't do it because this is going to happen or that is a problem. Or we kind of end up putting focus on the obstacles and then we kind of lose sight of like, you know, the goal, you know, the, the destination here. So um, I think it's important to not put focus in the obstacles. Um, I say just run them over. <laughs> As we're talking about being on the freeway. <laughs> um, run them over. So, uh, okay, so we just see. Um, okay, this is good. Um, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Aristotle. And there is, oh, I had some other ones I put here. Hang on. Oh, G is waiting. Oh, G is I doing finally this. got it. I you got it? it? Okay, yeah. hold on. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Stay on track. <laughs> Just a short one. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important and you'll capture it perfectly. Side effects of focus. Less drama. Accomplishments. Abundance. The life you deserve. And I read that. Stay focused, ignore the distractions, and you will accomplish your, oh, I read that one. You will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. <laughs> Winston Churchill. <laughs> Focus on where you want to go, not on what you fear. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, she's ready. I'm okay, ready. Here we just go. You. All right, good. I'm just chatting away with my quotes. All right, so we have a winner right. for... For the reading for the workshop. Want to do your workshop? Yeah. Okay. So somebody want a workshop, and if you if and I'm, I'm I'm throwing this out, so you may not even want to do it, but if you do, um, you want it. So if you win it and you do want to do the workshop, I need you to message me um in Facebook and give me your email address so I can send you a Zoom link. Okay. So um that means there's only going to be one um or so tickets left okay um so if you guys still want to do a workshop okay so the winner is debbie hutchinson menzer debbie hutchinson menzer okay you won the workshop so um if you are already attending my workshop i don't know i haven't looked to see who's at, who's actually coming yet um you could gift it to somebody if you think it would it would be fun or um if you wanted to if, you know, so if you're if you're already going, um, but you won, so yay! yay congratulations! Yay. So um, you won the workshop. It's going to be Sunday. So I don't know where you where your time zone is, Debbie. I think you're you're either Central or East Coast. You're one of those. I, I remember, but I just don't know exactly. You're Central or East Coast. Anyway, you won. So message me if you want to attend. I'll send you a Zoom link for Sunday. Now the winner for the reading. It's going to be a thirty minute private reading, and the winner is. Funny enough, Debbie Blaha. Another Debbie Blaha. Blaha. Yes. Debbie Blaha. So another Debbie. Okay. You know how today, you didn't know who you picked. No, you I, picked didn't know who, I didn't know who I, I mean, picked. Just I, just, but. I just do it energetic, energetically. Okay, guys. So that is the winner. So um, Debbie, when you won the reading, please message me on Facebook. Let me have your email address. I need to know what time zone you're in please. And if you could throw in a couple of uh, days of the week that are usually best for you, um, we'll look, we're looking at a couple of weeks out. So it won't be for about two weeks before I can give you your reading. Um, but if you want to kind of give me some dates a couple of weeks out, that might work for you. And the time zone um, that you're in and the time in your time zone, 
uh, if you give me a couple options, I will try to make one work. Okay, so perfect. Congratulations. I look forward to uh, giving you a reading. I look forward to my spirit guide workshop this Sunday. Um, for all of you that are doing a small group reading with me this week, I'm so looking forward to giving you guys all messages and having a fun time together. Um, so I'm excited about all of that. It's been a wonderful night. You guys are super amazing and wonderful. And I love the support and community you guys have for each other here. I want you to know that coming together like this really helps each other because it's all it's all of our good vibes and positivity kind of coming in and uh, it helps feed all of us and um, it's just wonderful and so I love it so much I'd love for you to share this I love to spread the word for my letters from spirit um, you know it's really important for me I want to try to spread the word I know there's you know, a lot that can kind of use the upliftment a little bit. And so this is a, a fun way of doing it. Um, and it's free. And um, and uh, so, and they could try it out and see if they like it. So please share it with your friends or your family or post it on your page. Um, would love that. And you guys are amazing. And until Monday, a whole week from now, we'll see you in one week. Yep. Have a one great week. week, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>